All right, guys, welcome back to another video. We were, me and Richard are out here today. Yeah. We're looking for some crabs. There looking for no some crabs. There's, the there's no bait, there's no squid. So we're out here having to do basically what I did in the last video, which is get some bait. <laughs> Richard's got his little net. <laughs> so he's gonna be hunting some crabs while I think I'm going to go look for some um, some mussels and some limpets. Hopefully I can get some. Still hunting for them. Look at this. I don't know what that is. I think this is underwater. Yeah, there's foam there. Whoa, you can hear the water under here. You gotta watch out, don't fall in there. <laughs> Holy, there's water under there, Richard. Yeah, I see him. All right, we got, we found some bait, but look at this, this is like a, like a ravine basically, and it, there's water under there. That's pretty crazy. Look at the water coming up. Grab him, Richard, grab him. All right, guys, so we're all set here. Richard's gonna use a piece of crab that he uh, got. And I'm using this jig. Suck it up, bro. Try to hook it like twice. As I said, we forgot our um, our bait, so we don't have any shrimp. This is what we typically use. Uh, the store was out of it, so we had to improvise. We got some crab. We also got some limpids that we might use as well. Um, I'm gonna start off with this jig. Rich has got that crab on there, soft shell crab actually. And we're gonna see if we could see if we could catch a fish out here. Uh, it's, this spot's really nice and calm. A lot nicer than most of the spots we've seen so far. So we're going to see what happens here. It's a peak high tide right now. So the tide's going to come down. We've got this little cove right here that we might fish to start off with. Just so we don't lose as, much, as many jigs. Uh, this spot looks pretty promising too. Oh, got to watch out where you're walking. Kind of jigging it up and down, guys. The fish down there, it's gonna come out and take it. There should be a fish down there, actually. Got this whole area to work with. It's really deep down there, it's like a good 10 feet deep. It's not shallow, it's a really deep area. Current's a little strong, but I think once uh, slack tide hits, I think that's when the fish are going to come out and eat, which is should be soon here. Just look at the current. I mean, if you guys can see the current right now, it's it's the current's pretty bad. But I think. Once slack tight hits, you might be able to hook up on a fish here. You got a bit? We just got one. Oh, it rose. Let's go grab the other piece, bro. Huh? Go grab the other piece. Go grab the other piece, see if you get bit again. 
Was it a bite though for reals or were you playing? Hey, uh, look at your hook. I don't know. It looks kind of weird. We'll see. There you go. He's got a bite, so we're gonna rebait up here. You got one? Oh, I think I did see it. There you go, there you go. Oh, oh, Richard. Oh, Richard. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. On the jig. On the jig. Let's go, dude. Oh, oh, shit. Hell yeah. I thought you were playing. No, dude. Oh, dude, that's a massive. On the jig. Let's go. Oh, post for the picture, bro. Oh, yeah. That is so sick. I didn't think you. I thought you were playing. Look at that. Ah, bro. I knew it was a fish. Oh, it bit on the crab. It did. And dude. then, and then you're like, oh, bro, you took my fishing pole from me, bro. You're like, let me try that. <laughs> I was like, let me try that. You're like, let me. I can't lose this fish. And then he drops it down there. And he, <laughs> I thought you were just playing, bro. Fuck no. Oh. Fish. On the jig, he caught it on the jig, guys. That is awesome. That's a big cabazon. That is a oh, dude, this thing is massive. Holy shit! This is like as big as the one I caught over there, or maybe a little smaller. But this is a really big red one. I've never seen a red one this big. So he bit three times. Like yeah. the third time is the charm, man. Wait, you, he bit again or what? Yeah, he bit again when you were walking away, and then that's when I told you, hold on, and then I fucking, that's when I finally caught him. Damn, right on this cove. There we go, no Ooh. bait needed. Yeah. All right, well, let's uh, let's measure him, I think. Let's see how big he is. Okay, I wish you brought ice down. <laughs> Look at it, barely on the lip. Barely on the lip. He barely caught him on the lip. Damn. That's awesome, bro. That is a nice fish. Look, like, it's got these parasites on it, like I mentioned before. Yeah. But I think I read somewhere that it's okay if they have that on there. It's not like a big deal. Seventeen inches. This one's seventeen inches. Yeah. 17 inches and he's uh, three pounds three pounds sick all right so that fish bit on some uh, crab so we're gonna use another piece of crab right here There we go. Big chunk of crab. This is a soft crab. We're gonna go ahead and use them for bait. Hopefully we get hooked up on another fish here. Cast it right in. And give it a give it a few minutes here to see if we can get one out of there. Oh it's actually on. Thing with the soft shell crab is that it's really soft look it's already darn near basically all falling off so 
it's hard to keep on the hook. There we go, right under the rock. Oh, there's one down, there's one down there. I got bit, it came off. There's another fish down there. I got bit, I got bit and the, and the freaking crab came off. So I gotta use some limpets now. A really good bait if uh, you forget your squid or if you get your, or if the store doesn't have any bait, this is right here is a really good bait because the fish love this and it stays on the hook a lot, really good. Does not come off the hook at all. All right, I'm gonna catch him right now, bro. Richard, I hear trying to take my fish. I think it's a smaller fish though. I don't think it's that big. Hopefully it comes back and takes this. Whoa. Waves are oh, I got one. Whoa. There it is. Oh, cool. Another massive one. Yeah. Oh, I can't. He's stuck in the seaweed. Oh, there it is. Another one, dude. Dude, let's go. Another yeah, massive big. red cabazon. Look at this one. Oh. Dude, this one's big. No fucking bait needed. Let's go. Look at that. Oh. He's taking a shit way, you know? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, bro. You and me got like two identical fish. <laughs> Just a massive cabazon. Oh, I think yours is cooler because you caught it on the jig. Whoa, and this is not the same fish that Richard caught. This is a different fish completely. Huh? All right. I'm gonna go uh, put that fish in the pool and then we're gonna see if we can get another one out of this spot. I doubt it. Yeah, I should probably put him in the water. There we go. Look at that. I caught another one. Rich is like, I'm done using the jig. There's another one. There's a black and yellow rockfish. Bit on the limpet again. Same limpet I used to catch that monster cat cabazon. Here we go, guys. Black and yellow. This one's a decent size, good eater. If we we're, we're gonna bring it our uh, cook stove next time. Look at this. Look at this tail, though. It's weird. I like that little part right there.
Ja. Oh yeah, we, let me let me get you one, bro. They're not Zenzo, they're the other ones. The OEO. Nine milligram. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give, give one of these to Richard because he's over here asking for it. Yeah. No bites or what? They still manage to fly away. There's a lot of flies out here right now. Look at this uh, jig setup though. It's got, got the regular jig, and I got two like these little grubs on the hooks. I don't know if this will do anything, but. Well, at least you know it worked. It worked. I mean, Richard caught that fish. So it works. I think I'm just gonna tie up uh, with bait now, since I don't have any more leader. Yeah, I got calm right here, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the bait. I think the bait's gonna work out, so I'm gonna retie real quick, and I'll get back to you guys when I'm done. All right, back on. Got my limpet here. We're gonna hook her up. Oops. A simple drop shot with the piece of squid three ounce disc weight flies are eating richer up that's for sure you kill them or no yeah where are you at right now Oh yeah, I see it. My cast very far out. Better get hooked up, bro. There's a really, there's a lot of good structure right here in this little cove. Up to you. We can. I think we should try casting it out there now. A little bit. Oh, you're on. You're on. Another one. Another one. Never mind. I'm going to stay here. Let's go. Oh, let's go, Richard. That's a small one. Let that, let that one go. That one's small, so we're gonna let that one go. Swim right back down. I mean, he was bleeding, but he swam off good, so I'm hoping he makes it. He was undersized anyways. Yeah. Got one on, guys? I think, oh no, maybe it came off. Bro, I think I came off. Maybe. I can't tell. Oh, here it is. I have it. The weight came off. Oh, yeah. Oh, the weight did come off. Boom. Small. This looks like a black and yellow. Put them in the pile. Well, we're fishing out here. Richard hooked up on his third fish. That's six fish in total today. Sheesh. Massive one as well, bro. Holy smokes. I thought you were snagged. I thought I was still on seaweed, Where were, where'd you cast? Right there, where the rock sticking out. Yeah. Right under there. Another nice one. Let's go put it in with the other ones. 
Bro, this is crazy. That's the fourth cavazon of the day. Two rockfish. And that one's also a keeper. Bro, all you've caught in today were are cavazons. Oh, yeah. I caught two rockfish and this guy catches three cavazons. All red. By the way. Pond going right here. Fishes. We got like just chilling. We got like five, six fish in here now, huh? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, five, That's five. Caught six in total. We had to release the other one. It was too small. That's crazy. Nothing but fish today, man. We should have honestly done a catch and cook, but. A what? Catch and cook. Ah. But, we should have uh, bought ice. Yeah. Shit, we would have brought back hella fish. Yeah. Rip. Oh well. Next time, next video, we're going to do a catch and cook for sure. We just got to get Colby's ass to come out here because this girl won't let him come out, but, you know, <laughs> that's all right. And Felix, well, I don't know what happened to Felix today. He said he was down. Now he's not down, so. All these fish were mostly caught on limpets. One of them was caught on a jig. Richard caught it on the jig. Um, I got some more over there. Yep. Yeah, I got some more over there. Um, that's yeah, just really nice fish. Really cool fish, actually. Three cavazons in there. But we're just putting them there for right now. We're gonna let them all go. So we just want to see how many fish we could catch. At this point, we should shoot for 10. That's Honestly. We're at, oh, we need what? Four more? Yep. Four more fish. All right, well, uh, let me get unsnagged and then we're going to keep on fishing. We'll be back for those ones for the next video. Oh, whoa, whoa. That guy's going crazy. This is red one. Crazy. Beautiful. Huh? Put him back in there. 